Hello everyone and welcome to Midweek News. Uh, I'm Thousand Daggers and I'm going to do things a little differently this time. Instead of showing like little clips of, uh, of, of game footage of whatnot, what I'm talking about, I'm mostly just going to be talking about uh, things uh, in this episode. Uh, first off, I want to start off with um, saying last week I didn't show any Midweek News, mainly because I was lazy, <laughs> but also because I, I was really not really feeling all the news stories from last week i I wasn't really interested in and as well there was news but nothing that really stood out to me nothing that I really care about and like any there was no no games that I cared about on, on, on any of the news sites that I could find so I, I wasn't really compelled to do an episode uh, last week this week it's um, almost the same there's a couple of stories but not very many and some of them are minor uh, this one for instance is the uh, Walking Dead uh, season 3 Game season three, I should say, the uh, Telltale series, uh, is is we already know it's going to be out. We already know they're working on it, but it has been confirmed that Clementine is going to be at least a recurrent returning character. They do not state that she will be the main character. They don't say which role she'll play. I'm I'm guessing she won't be in the main character. They might because because if if you stick with what they've done in previous games, they've got. They had, um, oh gosh, now I can't remember the name of the character from the season one. What the crap? Uh, is it Clementine? Uh, calls out a name. That's right! It's freaking Lee! I don't know what I was thinking. I had to look it up. It's been too long. I was like, what's the name? What's the, I was trying to remember by, like, what name does Clementine call out when she's, like, frightened? And that was how I was trying to base my memory. Uh, but anyways, so we don't know what role Clementine's gonna play, but she'll be in it, which is great, and I hope she stays in it. Uh, if she dies, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be crying. Literal tears. Literal tears are gonna be running down my face. Anyways, that was the exciting news that I saw today, uh, from The Walking Dead. Uh, and then on to a little bit more interesting news, and a little bit more thought out, uh, in this case. Uh, I did do an earlier episode about the, uh, uh, oh, Vanilla WoW le legacy server that went down um, a couple weeks ago called Nostalarius. And it, it had uh, 200, some, there's been mixed reports, 150,000 to 200,000 uh, 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 supporters um, or uh, subscribers. Not really subscribers either, I guess active users. Uh, I, I think 150,000 is the more accurate term. Uh, but there was a petition uh, to get that started, and it's caused Blizzard to have to respond to this. And part of the response is that that they quote is uh, this is from the uh, a forum post uh, by a Blizzard employee explaining the uh, justification for the copyright infringement or, or the um, the against the copyright copyright infringement. Uh, uh, why not just let Nostalrius continue the way it was? The honest answer is uh, failure to protect against intellectual property infringement would damage Blizzard's rights. This applies to anything that uses WoW's IP, including unofficial servers, and while we've looked into the possibility, there is not a clear legal path to protect Blizzard's IP and grant an operating license to a pirate server. Uh, I do not know if that is true. It seems a little strange that you just can't grant it, but I, I will not, I, I, I do not have, um, uh, the knowledge required to be able to state or, uh, or, you know, uh, go against that claim. Uh, I would not be surprised if it was actually a problem where they're like, no, it's an actual legal problem. We can't actually just do that. It's not a thing that you can do easily, I guess is what I would say. It would require a lot of work. And so um, until we start seeing more uh, news reports or, or other people p coming out who have, who have knowledge of the legal system and talk about this issue, there's not going to be much more information that I can give you. Uh, so in that regards, I want to, I want to take their, uh, statement as as um, 
as decent enough of a reason why they're not doing it. Uh, until... Until we have more time to look over it, because it's it just came out. Um, uh, well, I guess a couple of days ago, but it, at this point, yesterday for me, I think a couple of days, a couple of days ago for you guys. Um, but the um, the other thing is, uh, he continues. So, what can we do to capture the nostalgia of when WoW first launched? Over the years, uh, we have talked about a, a pristine realm. In, a, in essence, that would turn off all leveling ex acceleration, including character transfers, heirloom gear, character boosts, recruit a friend bonuses, WoW tokens, and access to cross-realm zone, uh, zones, as well as group finder. We aren't sure whether this version of a clean slate is something that would appeal to the community, and it's still on op open topic of discussion. One other note, we've recently been in contact with some of the folks who operated Nostalrius. They obvious, obviously care deeply about the game, and we look forward to more conversations with them in the coming weeks. So, they're in communications with the people involved in Nostalrius, and they want to come up with this new feature. Um, honestly, I don't know how well it would work. Uh, I, I can't imagine that uh, just turning off those features is enough to get people who want to play Vanilla WoW interested in your game again. They want to play Vanilla WoW. They don't want to play the game you've created just without some of the stuff. Uh, so I don't know if they're going to actually do that. Again, he says they don't know how popular it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be very popular. Um, but they're talking to the group of Nostalgia. I don't know if that's even a... Uh, a, a lot of people have been saying that, oh man, they're at least talking to them. I go, that, that's not... It's not a... It's not a thing. Just because they're talking doesn't mean that they're actually looking to make a server. They're not... They're talking, but they're not... That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything yet. Uh, so... Uh, what I think is important here is to look at some of the numbers and look at what... WoW is doing, um, or Blizzard is doing, I guess I should say. Uh, and one of these things is you gotta look at the, uh, there's a, uh, there was a poll, uh, don't know how accurate this poll is, uh, it's only been one poll, I couldn't find others, on MMO Champion about asking if people would really pay for a classic server. Uh, it had interesting results, uh, 42.79% of them, uh, said that they they would not pay for it and i or they would not play vanilla server a vanilla wow even if it was free so uh, for the purposes of what i'm going to do with it uh, that that group was going to be uh irrelevant um but the more important thing is um about 14 percent of them said they would only play it if it was free over 10 percent of them would say they would pay but if it was less than full price and 32.5% said they would pay full price for the game if, if, or pay full monthly fees uh, to play on a vanilla WoW server. You, I have to assume that given the story now, not, I shouldn't assume. Um, I won't assume in this, in the, in what I'm going to do, but the, um, that number might be a little skewed. There might be less people that actually want to pay for it if they were given the option to do so. Um, based on on people might just be pushing their 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 desires off of off of the uh, the emotion of of the fact that Nostalgia was closed. So I don't know if if the, if, if the numbers are skewed a little bit. They probably are. Again, this is only one cer one poll, and it's online. And it would be better if there were multiple multiple polls for this uh, to to really narrow down what people feel about this because it would be very good information for blizzard if they could see what kind of uh value the to place on a, on this product uh but for the purposes of the what i what i what i want to do is i want to take the number uh 150,000 uh subscribers uh or not subscribers the active users that that uh uh Distolarius had and we have to assume that the people that would not play Vanilla WoW, even if it was free, are not one of the 150,000. So that's uh, irrelevant. So out of the remaining people that were polled, 
56% of them were uh, people that were willing to pay in full. So you take 56% of of the uh, people who um, out of 150,000, you get about 85,000 people. Uh, so 85,000 people willing to pay. Again, this is only one. I want to stress this enough. I can't stress this enough. This is only one poll. We need more polls like this. That'd be great. Um, uh, but one poll saying stating that about half of the people that played and this isn't necessarily polling people that played in the solid that, that would actually be a really useful poll uh, but this is a poll for um, information about just overall users that went to the forum and clicked the button uh, but this is what we can base our information on for now and if 85,000 people pay, played vanilla wow I want a vanilla, vanilla wow server that would equal over a million dollars worth of, of, of revenue um, for for Blizzard um, if they're paying full price. That is, so you're, you're talking you're talking um, yeah over a million dollars uh, in revenue a, a month, so twelve million dollars a year. Um, I mean I don't exactly like. That sounds like a lot of money to me, but I don't know the the uh, how much it would cost to run a, a server. You do, you might run or run a backup server or like have backups on that. You'll have to ha pay people to maintain it. The costs of running such a such a server, I I don't really know, and but I think these numbers aren't unavailable to Blizzard they know these numbers so my guess is they either think that the enthusiasm for paying for for vanilla wow is less than it m actually is in which case they might just not think it's actually worth go ap approaching because they don't think that the enthusiasm is actually there or um they don't think it's worth a million dollars a month and that's a perfectly reasonable position uh, to have, um, if you don't, if if a business decides they don't think it's worth it, then 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 they don't think it's worth it. Like, that, that, what are you gonna do? You could try to persuade them that it is. You could keep on going. Well, no. If you just if you if you market it well, you could actually increase the uh, number of people that will want to play on this Vanilla WoW server. You could actually instead also maybe have Vanilla WoW but add other forms of of of. Uh, you still have like the cosmetic um, form form of uh of, of uh microtransactions so you can still make money in that sense as well uh which i think is the main cause they, i don't think people expect people that play vanilla wow to spend money to you know color their their shirts differently um uh so i i just don't think they have um they don't have the will the, blizzard does not have the will to do this because they, they don't think it's uh uh it's worth it uh, and so they think it is worth worth it to instead every once in a while when one of these private servers catches on and becomes big to just smack it down um, they that's their decision that they've made I believe that the main reason why Blizzard wants to uh, not uh, really just take over the server and 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 incorporate it into their business and then and then uh you know charge people to play on it is because of the initial costs the initial cost is probably what's doing it and i don't i don't have those numbers and i don't i don't have those numbers and i don't have the numbers of uh of how much it costs to run on a monthly basis but my guess would be the initial cost would be too high for the gain they would get on a monthly basis and and uh, businesses, especially corporate businesses, um, they are not just satisfied with a, a steady income. They want growth. They want to get larger and larger and larger. Now, the truth is Blizzard, or WoW in this case, WoW has been steadily declining um, 
and to a point where they even aren't showing their numbers anymore. Um, they've kind of gone into a um, like a, a a dark. They've they put a they've put a curtain behind their um, uh, behind them or in you know blocking our view so we don't know exactly how bad things are getting there. Um, I can't imagine them getting better. Uh, to be honest, uh, they there there is still a large following in WoW. They're still probably the largest MMO out there, but they're declining. And the growth, the lack of growth that you could get, you couldn't get very much growth out of Vanilla WoW. The audience for Vanilla WoW is there, but you're not going to get any bigger, and that's the main concern um, I think with Blizzard is it's it's not going to produce. Uh, it's it's going to not be worth the initial cost um, to to warrant the um, the revenue uh, per month, and then plus there's the aspect of, of of no further growth going forward. So those three things I think are just causing it to not is, is the reason why Blizzard's not interested in it, um, and and also I mean. Private servers are going to exist, always exist. They'll always get struck down eventually if they get too big. Um, it's just the nature of, of MMOs at this point. Uh, it's it's something we either have to like, like you just have to live with. If you are playing the game for free on a private server, keep in mind that the cost that you are are are, are agreeing to is that you may lose everything in your game that you you try you might lose just your character you'll, you'll just lose it it'll be gone all any any kind of uh, character you've been working on uh, that you've been progressing through the game with uh, will just be deleted and be gone and you won't have access to that server anymore that's the price you pay for playing on a private server criticizing uh, Blizzard's um, position is reasonable um, but I also think that their position is reasonable. I think both positions are reasonable. Uh, I, I think I think one saying, "Hey, you sh there is a market for this. You should allow it to exist," um, it is is a reasonable position. But it's also their property, and so <laughs> yeah, it's it's this is a really hard case for me because it's like, plus I have I've not played WoW in like five years, I think. Ever since Cataclysm, it's what everyone says. Though everyone stopped at Cataclysm, it was just, it was just downhill from there. Literally, quite literally. If you took the there's a there's a curve of, of, of hype or of, of subscriptions for for Blizzard. It it peaks out over Wrath and it kind of it just plateaus over Wrath and then it, and then it goes down. It just drops. And then they stopped giving out numbers. Um, I can't remember which expansion it was, uh, but the projection was it was just going to continue to go down. Um, and I don't. I actually don't know. It, they may have stagnated their growth. I just don't imagine it getting any bigger. Uh, mainly because they're not. In, they're. They're. I think it, at at best they're lose. They're gaining subscribers as fast as they're losing them. As as soon as people kind of get tired of the game, pe other people are are coming in to play it. Um, it's also got some stigma behind it. But that being said, um, I think. I think. <laughs> I think it's like the biggest cop count ever. I think both sides are right. I think they're both right, guys. They might both be right. One's o one side only has the legal uh, authority behind it, though. So that's the side that wins. And, uh, you know, that's fine as well. Just keep, just keep going at it, people who want it. Just keep fighting. If you really want it, fight for it. And if you're if you become a really big uh, crowd of people, you'll get heard. So, anyways, that was your midweek news. I don't know if this episode is going to be any good because <laughs> I did it a little differently, uh, but hopefully it does well. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at my face the entire time, just looking at my face, just looking at my face. If you enjoyed the episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>